Hi, I'm Movie Cat, and you're watching Fantastic Crap. Well, another 10 episodes has passed, and that means yet another top 10 list. This 30th episode also just happens to fall on October, so I just could not pass up the chance to do a Halloween-themed top 10. Ow. I decided to keep it simple, though, and go with top 10 Halloween-themed movies, though they don't actually need to be about the holiday itself to qualify. Just that the holiday is a big part of the backdrop or look and tone of the film. To me, these films here capture the spirit of Halloween and really help get you stoked and ready for the greatest holiday to ever exist. Keep in mind that these top tens are only my opinion. Though, I am a cat, so that makes them law. What? Hey, nothing wrong with some truth bombs. Uh, uh, fine, fine. These lists are just for fun, and would, I would love to hear your picks for favorite Halloween films. But enough of that. Let's kick off this spectacular list of creepiness. Number 10, Night of the Demons. Night of the Demons is a 1988 horror film about a group of unlikable teens who go to an abandoned funeral parlor with a gruesome past and decide to have a Halloween party and are actually surprised and shocked when bad things start to murder them. This one opens up getting you psyched for Halloween because its opening credits is full of great vintage style animations of spooky things while fun Halloween themed music plays away without a care. Also, this movie almost feels like a standalone full length Tales from the Crypt style story because it has an opening and an ending involving an old man who hates kids, which pretty much has nothing to do with the rest of the movie. Also, Famous screen cream Leanna Quigley is also present here, and yes, she does get naked. She even shows us uh, an unusual way to store your lipstick if you forgot your purse at home. Uh, moving on. Number 9. Trick or Treat 1986 is a rockin' time for hair bands and Twisted Sisters, and the film Trick or Treat decided to give that the horror treatment with its homicidal rock and roll ghost bent on unleashing its horrible revenge on his small town, because the school would not let him play at the Halloween school party. Yes, that is the legit plot for the most part. This movie perfectly captures Halloween back in the 80s and can be pretty nostalgic for those who lived through the era, and on top of this has a rockin' soundtrack by Fastway. It also features the pretty fun of not super silly horror villain Sammy Kerr, the vengeful electricity-fueled rock and roll ghost. Number 8. Monster House we now jump to the year 2006 with the animated film Monster House, in which three kids discover that the old creepy house on their block isn't just haunted, but it's an actual living, breathing, scary monster, which wants to eat the kids. So, this Halloween, the tricks will be on all the kids when the house turns them into the treats. The three main kids here are actually likable and act like real kids, and the Halloween adventure they have is pretty fun. The film is full of Halloween colors and images and does manage to capture that childhood feeling of getting to go out in costumes, searching for candy on a night full of trick and treating. Number 7. Ernest Scared Stupid I am an old cat. I was a wee one when Ernest P. Rural was the spokesman for Brahms and did all those wacky TV commercials. I was there when his first film, Ernest Goes to Camp, was first released, and I will always be a big fan of the goofy know-it-all. In 1991, Ernest made, in my opinion, his last good movie, Ernest Scared Stupid, a wacky and lovable spooky romp on Halloween night. Ernest, being the moron that he is, accidentally unleashes a troll who has a thing for turning children into wood. And who doesn't? And it ends up to Ernest to fix his blunder and save Halloween for the children of the small town. 
down. If you're a fan of Ernest, this movie is a great blast with some pretty awesome monster troll designs and gets surprisingly creepy in parts for a children's film. I'm talking to you, scene where the little girl is lying on the bed by herself. Oh, the nightmares I'm sure you induced into kids around the world. I approve. Thumbs up. Um, paw, paws up. Number six, Sleepy Hollow. Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow is a very stylish, beautiful looking movie full of great and gloomy and spooky imagery. Full of foggy fields and gray fall skies and images of scarecrows with jack-o'-lantern heads. This movie oozes out feelings of Halloween just by looking at it. On the top of that, Burton pretty much made this his tribute to the old Hammer horror films with cameos by legends such as Christopher Lee popping up here and there. This is easily one of my favorite Tim Burton movies and is always a joy to watch during this time of year. Number 5. Hocus Pocus This movie will put a spell on you, which will keep you watching to the very end. It's about a dumb young virgin who lights a candle which resurrects three w old witches who must feed on the life force of the town's children before Halloween night ends in order to live forever. This movie is all Halloween, with decorations seen in the backgrounds everywhere, and a talking black cat, the best part of any movie or show. Wow. The three witches are nailed perfectly by the three actresses, especially Ben Midler, whose Winifred Sanderson has become one of my all-time favorite movie witches. This movie has it all. Black cats, witches, zombies, cursed Halloween parties, and even a song and dance number with Bette Midler singing I'll Put a Spell on You. This movie even ends in an, in an old gothic graveyard. If you want a good dose of Halloween on film, you cannot go wrong with Hocus Pocus. Number 4. Halloween 3. Season of the Witch. Ah... Uh, the underrated third entry to the beloved Halloween series. I just covered this movie in my last episode, so I will not talk m about it too much here. If you are interested, just ch ch check out that episode. That being said, this is a film about Halloween's old past coming back to haunt us, and is full of Halloween masks, trick-or-treating, and various creepy crawlies bursting from faces. Oh, seriously? What's the movie? Number 3. Nightmare Before Christmas The old beloved classic. Everyone knew this one would be on the list because leaving it off the list would be a sin. This is a full-on celebration of Halloween and on what makes it tick. And every scene is full of Halloween imagery and fun. It boosts fantastic and memorable characters and a bunch of iconic songs, such as This is Halloween. Even the Christmas stuff doesn't get in the way of the Halloween fun, with the Halloween stuff definitely dominated most of the film. Shrunken heads for Christmas presents? Sounds delightful. Wow. Number 2 Halloween! Another one everyone knew would be on this list. The iconic and beloved film Halloween. Michael Myers is one of the most beloved horror villains of all time. And the series also features other iconic and beloved characters, such as Laurie Strode and the always great Dr. Loomis. This is full of Halloween -y atmosphere and mood and relies more on tension and suspense than it does on gore and murder. But if you want the, that, try Halloween 2, a great fun sequel that turns full on typical slasher but does it well and is one of the best horror sequels in my opinion. The first film is a staple of Halloween, and zillions of people have the tradition of watching it every year at this time, and it never gets old. Gee, this is number two on the list? 
I bet you are wondering what in the world I could have as number one. Well, number one, trick or treat. This movie is pure Halloween caught on tape, period. Released in 2007, this movie has become a new favorite to watch during this time of year and has already cut out a place for itself as a beloved cult film. Trick or Treat is an anthology which tells several short stories all sit on the same Halloween night in the same town, and every once in a while the stories were intersect with each other as the movie goes along. Kind of like Puff Fiction, but with a horror twist. This movie has it all. Fantastic Halloween imagery, werewolves, serial killers, zombies, vampires, and the mascot of Halloween. And the movie itself, Sam, the spirit of Halloween, who patrols the streets of Halloween night, making sure everyone follows the rules. And if they don't, well, Sam would do more than just leave coal in your stockings. <laughs> and that's taking it lightly. Do not disrespect Halloween. Sam is a fantastic character, and I would not mind seeing a slew of more movies featuring him and his Halloween shenanigans. Well, this wraps up our spooky look at some of my favorite films to watch during this time of year. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a very happy Halloween. Try not to anger those rock and roll ghosts, and be sure to not trick or treat at any monster houses. But most of all, if a Silver Samurai commercial comes on at 9 for a big giveaway, don't watch it! I'm sure you want to be around to enjoy next Halloween. And besides, you would miss next year's Fantastic Crap Halloween episodes, and that would be the true horror. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Night of the Demons is a 1988 horror film about a group of unlikable teens who go to an abandoned mansion with a goose, with a goo, or a goose, uh. This one opens up getting you psyched for Halloween because it's opening credits, or is credits, credits? Wow. Mm. Number eight, Monster Party. Wait, did I say part? That's a video game. The movie's Monster House. I, I can't even get the titles right. <sighs> it's about a dumb young virgin who lights a candle, which resurrects three old witches who must feed on the life force of the... <clears throat> what the fuck? My voice started going out. <laughs>